if you have your Bible, look at Luke chapter 18, Luke chapter 18, and I'm going to start in verse 35 and then read down just a bit, just to set the stage for what transpired here in Jericho. As Jesus approached Jericho, so where are we right now? Jericho. Jericho. So as he was coming toward the city, obviously coming most likely from the territory of Jerusalem, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. So you can just imagine the ancient roads here and a blind man sitting by the roadside. You can kind of picture that, can't you, okay? A blind man sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd going by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he replied. Jesus said, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. So here is this miracle of a blind beggar receiving his sight on a road nearby coming into the city of Jericho, right? Now continuing to chapter 19, Jesus entered Jericho. So now he's entering the city and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to the guest of a sinner. But but, but Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, 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 Look, here, here and now I give half my possessions to the poor. If I've cheated anybody out of anything, I will repay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. I just want to draw an interesting distinction, because here are two stories in the Bible uh, of, of Jesus doing something for a person in Jericho, Right? And the first story is this blind beggar by the roadside. And when Jesus comes by, do you remember what he did? He cried out with a loud voice, what? Son of David, have mercy on me. And one one record of the story says that people tried to quiet him down and told him to be quiet. Don't bother him. He's not interested in you. And he just kept crying out all the more, all the louder. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And so this was a guy that was doing everything possible to get Jesus' attention. All right. Everything he could to get Jesus' attention. And just a few verses later, as Jesus comes into Jericho, we have a man who climbs up into a tree to avoid Jesus' attention. Think about that, okay? One guy's doing everything possible to get Jesus' attention. The other guy's doing everything he can to hide from Jesus, right? And what I want you to know and remember is that everybody has a different personality, don't you, okay? Some of us are extroverts and some of us are introverts and some of us are, I don't know what kind of verts we are, okay? We're kind of somewhere in the middle, right? And what oftentimes, you know, we kind of get upset about who we are and wish that we were more like this or more like that. But here's the good news. Here was an extroverted guy in need by the roadside crying out, Jesus, son of David. And everybody's telling him, be quiet. And he's just like a loud mouth. I want to be, I want to get his attention. And the other guy kind of faded into the background, kind of hoping that Jesus wouldn't see him. Here's the good news. No matter what you're but what your personality is, first of all, you're uniquely you. Isn't that good to know? You're uniquely you, and God can find you right where you are. Okay?